Hello, and welcome back to a page-by-page page review of Dune by Frank Herbert. Today, page 156. Uh, page 156 is a nuanced page. Uh, it's almost sad with a tinge of forlornness? Forlorning? You know... Maybe I should start reading a dictionary instead of reviewing these pages, but it's just so good, this book. Um, everybody leaves. Leto, Duke Leto Atreides, tells his son Paul Atreides that he should uh, stay the night in the meeting room, but it's getting late. Uh, Paul says he's not that tired and continues to observe his father pace along the length of the table and sees that his father remarks that his father looks as if he is a caged animal. The first thought of defeat crosses Paul's mind, not because he necessarily was sure that it would happen to him and his family, but that the first time this poss this is the first time he thought that this could happen. Um almost a really it's like a sad moment as a reader it's it's great we love to see emotion but uh yeah a, a nuanced page that a son could think that about his father and that it shows the maturity that paul has then that he's not naive that he's actually thinking about the situation that he's been trained well and then they talk about the traitor that's amongst them paul remarks that his father looks like a caged animal and then the Duke says that precautions have been taken, remain here, there are cliffhanger. Really good page, really stellar. Um, let me know what you guys think of page 156. I know we've got uh, roughly around like 640 more to go. Uh, we're going to get there, we're going to have a review every page of the way. It's going to be exciting, it's an exciting trip. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Keep reading Dune uh, by Frank Herbert.